I'm finding that the sewing in the zip can be a little bit tricky to get it very, very accurate, especially because I've decided not to put lining into this garment, just because it makes a fairly simple garment into a very difficult one. So we just need to get the zip very nice and neat. Um, so what I've done is I've put my neck, neck piece on and I've done my top stitching. And this should basically end about one centimeter from that edge there. And then when I place this on, I need to place the zip so that the top of the metal is lining up with the seam. So where the rib meets um, the jacket, the top of the metal must line up with that seam over there. Okay, and then we're going to pin that into place very carefully and just make sure that that absolutely does not move at all. Um, and I always pin the beginning and the end and then I pin in between. So I've pinned the top and then I'll move down to the bottom of the garment. Okay, I've just put my zip on the wrong way around. Let me just do that again. Um, so always have your zip right sides together. So lining that up with the top. And then the bottom, we have to line up with the bottom of the jacket nicely. And that's lining up exactly with the bottom there as well. So you want that all to line up and then we're going to pin this in place and sew it on um, and then I'll be back to show you the next step. So I've sewn my zip on all the way down using my zip foot. Um, it's a bit tricky to see the color of the stitching here. It's basically invisible but there you can see that I've sewn it on um, all the way down and some people always ask me must I sew over the plastic part at the bottom and yes unfortunately you have to it's a bit tricky but you must do that I'm going to tuck this little tail in just now um because I don't want to cut it but if you have cut it don't stress it's all good so what we need to do when we sew the zip onto the other side is we want to make sure that the rib on this side is lining up with the rib on the other side so what I do is close the zip now and actually draw a line on that seam line there so I've got the rib line, seam line drawn on this side. So when I un unzip my zip and sew it onto the other side, I'm going to line that line up. And that's basically the most important thing that needs to be lined up um, in order to make the finish of the garment beautiful. So this is now my other side and I'm lining that mark up exactly with that. And then I will pin the rest of the zip in and sew it in, making sure that that mark specifically doesn't move at all. So I've sewn my zip in on the other side, matching that mark there. So that's lining up quite nicely. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I still need to iron this before I do the top stitching, um, which I can do now. And then I'm just going to show you what we're doing at the very top um, of the jacket to make it neat. So beautifully ironed, it's always important to do your ironing before your top stitching and then um, just a note, I haven't sewn very close to the zip because I find then the zip can get stuck. So I use my one centimeter guide um, to sew the zip in and I see my pattern matching didn't quite work up 100%, um, but I tried, it's kind of there. Um, okay, so we're going to do the top of the zip, um, finishing it off before the top stitching. So it's just very important, I find people are struggling with this part, um, and that is to get this neat. So basically, um, you've sewn your zip on here, and you've lined it up. So you're going to open the zip up like that. So not like this, you're going to actually open the zip up like that. And then you're going to fold this part to the back. So this is open, and then we're going to fold this over, ready for our top stitching. Um, so if I look at the back now, there's a little piece of the zip here sticking out. Um, <clears throat> so if you haven't folded it perfectly, then that can happen. And if that really bothers you, then I have a way of fixing it. So what we need to do is basically we need to fold this in half first before we fold it to the back. But there's a piece of plastic here, so it's making it very difficult to fold. So I just cut the piece of plastic off. Don't cut right at the top of the zip because then you never can get it folded back and it's going to start fraying. So just cut that piece of plastic off. That's at the very top. And I find that if I fold this to the back, perfectly like that to the back, 
and then I turn it over and then I fold this edge, the one that's on the inside, in a little bit. Then I'm keeping the top of the zip neat. Let me just make it like that. So that's neat now. So I folded it to the back and then I folded this little guy in and then I fold this back again. Put a pin in like that. Um, and then you can see that at the back here, once it's top stitched, that will look pretty neat. Um, and at the front, it's making a beautiful front like that. And the top stitch from the top all the way down to hold the zip in place. Um, and when I do this, it depends on you, but I like to change it back to my normal foot. So don't top stitch with the zip foot on. Um, but that's personal, you must just see what works for you. And if you have fused this front, then you won't get any bubbling. Um, but if you haven't fused it, then you need to put quite a few pins in like this so that you stop the fabric from forming bubbles. Then at the bottom, I simply do the same thing. I'm opening this out like it was when I sewed it and I'm folding my little tail to the inside. So the tail is lying next to the seam on the inside. And then I'm going to fold this back so that that tail gets caught in when I do my top stitch. And then always just put a pin there. Um, and then we're going to go and top stitch. To sew the zip in, I'm using the edge of my foot as a guide. So the edge of my foot, this edge over here, is running along the seam line over here where, these, um, where this, the zip meets the jacket. And that just gives me a very good guide um, to be consistently the same distance as I've used also over here. So all the top stitching on the garment is the same um, and consistent. It. Your zip is in and it's the very last step on your garment and now you can enjoy wearing your beautiful bomber that you made all by yourself. I think the top came out quite neatly. Um, happy with it. Good luck with yours and please send photos. I'd love to see it.